Uh, I've got um, an interesting one here. I, I, I don't know if we should go down this path too far, but I'm curious to what degree this is a factor. Uh, the importance of mental health for HR and leadership. Um, how does HR play, you know, play a role in the current environment yeah. where, um, frankly, we've got more to deal with? Um, it's a stressful world. Yeah. Um, and I, I think business leaders, I think HR leaders, I think employees are under more stress than ever. Again, partly it's how fast things are happening, mm -hmm. how short cycles are anymore, or how, how new entrants seem to be coming in every other day, new technologies are being introduced, the fact that we're in families with aging parents that may need help, young kids that need help, right? So we're in these compressed lives where the phone's always on, technology's always on, we're constantly, so mm -hmm. mental health is a huge issue, right? Yeah. So really thinking around how do we have avenues for people to have help for this? How do we destigmatize getting help for leaders, for employees? How do we create more paths for them to do that in ways that they feel comfortable, whether that's through anonymous sources, um, part of it's calling it out and making it more visible. What are the, the resources we have for them? Mm -hmm. Part of it's having those conversations where people talk about the fact that they did use this, mm -hmm. particularly leaders that may have you know, had stress and how they helped to handle it or mental health issues and how they were addressing it, right? So I, I think yeah. creating visibility for it, mm -hmm. super important, but then creating the resources, whatever they are, so that people can get help that they need. I, I think part of that is also this idea of management by walk around, right? So if you've gone out and built these relationships you see people, you notice differences, right? So mm -hmm. I might notice that you look different from a year ago or six uh -huh. months ago or three months ago. And I, I might just say, Chris, what's going on? I'm How are you afraid, feeling, right? right? Well, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding you, of okay, course. Yeah, but, yeah. I, but I would know, I right? Know. So if, if, I, I, if, I don't, if I don't make that relationship with yes. you, which is, I, I think is super important, right? Is yeah. If I haven't seen you in, since the last time we did something together, a year and yeah. a half ago, right. I would know if there's a difference, right? So that, yes. that's that idea of being out there, building those relationships, being so mm -hmm. you can actually spot people. Mm -hmm. and, and so we've moved, and this is a, this is super salient to Cornell, right? Is yeah. how do we create more situations where more people can spot a student in trouble? It's the same idea with employees, right? That yes. the more we have people out there building those relationships, having these conversations more frequently, we can spot it become before it becomes a real issue and ha at least have a conversation. And that's creating a culture. And, yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, you know, a workplace yeah. culture where you not only become uh, a better place to work, but you attract better talent, yeah. right? And yeah. it'll ultimately retain yeah. more employees and, through all your, that. Your, your joke is actually a really important one, though, right? which is it can't just be that you look good. It's yes. like, what am I noticing about you that's yes. different? Are you, maybe you look great, but you're not talking like you used to, or yeah. we're not having the same kind of conversation. Can, can I spot things based on yeah. how much I know about you rather than just a visual cue of, hey, looks great as he always does, yeah. probably because you're still running like you used to, but... Are there other things that are creeping up that just don't show up like the Chris used to? Yeah, a good one. I'm glad I asked that, um, despite the silly joke.